Alrighty, here we go. This is not a fresh matchup, but this is a very good one. Honestly, it's going to be The Miz going up against Dolph Ziggler in the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Title Tournament. Uh, definitely, it's been a long time since The Miz was in the uh, WWE Title Tournament picture. Uh, you'd have to go all the way back to uh, back to 2011 uh, when he lost the championship after WrestleMania 27 uh, in the Extreme Rules match, which was a steel cage match between Cena, uh, The Miz, and uh, John Morrison. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, um, of course, uh, is the guy that everyone always thinks is going to be on the, you know, the uh, the up and coming. Uh, we was involved so much in the angle that went down uh, last Survivor Series uh, with uh, Team Cena. He was actually the guy who got the win over Seth Rollins, which everyone thought was going to lead somewhere. But then with him being fired um, by the authority, um, it took a lot of uh, the steam off, off of Ziggler and uh, never was able to uh, reclaim it when he got his job back thanks to uh, John Cena and Sting on Monday Night Raw. Joining the Rumble, um, he just has sort of been on the roster, always you know one of the guys that everybody's pointing at. This guy's going to get his due someday, and he's never really uh, been able to get it. Of course, a former world heavyweight champion cashing in the money in the bank uh, the night after Monday Night I'm sorry, the, the night after WrestleMania 29 at uh, uh a Monday Night Raw, um, and then you're know, losing it due to a concussion. Never really been able to climb that ring, but uh, definitely is one of the guys that could you know spark a little bit of interest in WWE as he could do it. So these guys uh, being blown off in a, in a opening match to me, honestly, it sort of showed me that we were going to get a good match out of these guys. But it sort of shows that um, I don't know. I just, I just I just wish that both of these guys could find a way to get to the top somehow, and it looks like one of them is going to be out after tonight. Honestly, when I thought about this match, I was thinking about Ziggler was having a match um, against uh, Tyler Breeze. Uh, but then when they showed the uh, tournament brackets, the winner of this match actually is going to be fighting the winner of Dean Ambrose versus Tyler Breeze in the next round. Um, so that's a way that these guys could really come together and have their match. To me, honestly, Ziggler versus uh, um, Breeze should be taking place outside of the tournament, seeing how uh, Breeze is a guy who, if he's had a match in WWE, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, nothing's really caught my eye. He hasn't really had that blowaway match. He shouldn't really be in the WWE Championship picture coming fresh out of NXT like this. Um, so my pick was that The Miz was actually going to get the win, and I was excited. But when the match came down, um, it was Ziggler hitting a super kick and being able to uh, to get the pin. Uh, from there, uh, Ziggler went down onto the floor where he went over uh, where the title was. He raised the title over his head for a pop from the crowd. Um and then from here, we'll get to see Ziggler um, against the winner of Ambrose versus Breeze, which I think is going to be taking place on SmackDown.